Probably my favourite, one of my favourite moments from, and this isn't anything to do with preparation, but it was when I got booked to Battle Bender. Mm. That was like, that was really big for me. Because I think Bender is the best ever. Like in terms of, in terms of, how, in fact, no, I don't think that. Like I know that. Um, and people can have like different opinions on who the best writer ever is, but I think there's a few people and I would say I'm one of them that are pretty qualified to make like a almost objective judgment on it, and it's him. Like I promise you, you speak to anyone who knows what they're talking about about who the best writer is. If they know who Bender is, then they think it's him. Because I'm not qualified, um, I agree in a lot of ways with what you've said. In what in, in what sense do you put him on that pedestal? Then what what separated him from everybody else in your mind? Well, for one, he he was definitely like a pioneer in what was like actually like possible to do with words. And I don't mean like, okay, so like you kind of think that, all right, there, would, there obviously is like some limit like on what you can do with words because there are only so many words. So there, there has to be like a limit, and that is a true thing. There is like a limit, but like, what that limit is was just like completely, like everyone's perception of what that limit is just completely changed with like what he did. Like, every a lot of people had tried to do the whole like related multis thing. Um. And some people were, like, very good at it, but it was stuff like fucking, um, like, the WRCs, like, oh, you look like Christian Bale if he survived a bombing of the British Rail. That's, like, a real example. Like, they went through, like, all these things. And it, at the time, it was, like, kind of groundbreaking. It was Thoris and Ilmac versus um, Wash His Face and Possessed in the finals of the 2006 WRCs. They went through this whole, you look like Christian Bale if he survived a bombing of the British Rail and all this stuff and it was at the time it was groundbreaking and people were like wow that it must be like the fucking zenith of what's like like oh a string of like words that could all be tied together and rhyme perfectly and then bender came out and the techniques he were using some of them were just like brand new yeah. that like no one had ever done before and some of them were like just stuff that had been done but to a level that you wouldn't even think like possible the two things that rhyme so perfectly could be so related. The obvious example that everyone goes for is uh, the atomic bomb designer, Dr. Robert Oppenheimer. Like, how is there something out there where the guy who designed the atomic bomb rhymes with designing the atomic bomb? Or like stargazing like Carl Sagan? Or like fucking... Uh, I'm Noriega, like, sorry player, I'm Noriega, cross with Schwarzenegger, orchestrate your fate in the torture chamber. The way he, like, flips the syllables around and uses them almost like drum beats, but they're all, like, the same syllables. So, like, if you imagine, like, a two-syllable multi, like, A, B, he's, like, it's all, like, sounds like a perfectly, it sounds like a perfectly like, cogent sentence that you would say, but it's, like, A, B, A, B. A B B B A B A A B and it's just like it's like listening to a fucking like jazz drummer or something with words. It's like just breathtaking. Like listen and even more so but I think Bender is probably the only person because you know I was talking about like lack of motivation mm. for, for me now at this point. I think part of that comes from I watch battle rap and it's almost like Imagine you're watching the first magician that's ever lived there's never been like another magician and you're just watching him and you don't get to like ask him any questions you just have to watch it and you watch it and you practice and you get it wrong and you watch it and you practice and you get it wrong and eventually through watching it enough and practicing it enough you can reverse engineer it and you work out how the trick is done like the trick isn't it loses something mm. once you've worked out like how it is that you do it 
Bender is maybe the only person that I watch and I'm like, I know how you've done that, but it still gives me that feeling of like, that's amazing, man, <laughs> like what you've done. Um, and yeah, even like the technique, so I'll give you like one example of like a technique that was just like brand new. It was in one of these very early battles against Barracuda and the bar was something like, I'm a super villain with my arm cocked, spraying at your ride like a car wash. So till my heart stops, send the dork geeks and hard knocks because I put an end to more dreams than alarm clocks. Now if you ask people what the rhymes there are, they'll say, uh, arm cocked, uh, car wash, heart stopped, hard knocks, alarm clocks. But that isn't the rhyme. Like, that is the rhyme for the first two bars. He says, I'm a super villain with my arm cocked, spraying at your ride like a car wash, so till my heart stops. And then the rhyme is, send the dorks, geeks, and hard knocks, because I put an end to more dreams than alarm clocks. So he takes the same, like, last two syllables, but stretches the last two bars into, like, an eight syllable multi that the first six syllables are disguised in. So you don't hear it consciously but subconsciously it makes it sound nicer mm. and that technique is just was just brand new and it took like a long time for me to actually realize what he had done and why those two bars sounded as good as they did because it was so like disguised mm. the um, audience for battle rap has to be they have to be attentive and they have to listen and they have to have that knowledge and of the circumstances they have to have that appreciation for a performer to get their due so one of the questions i was going to ask you because this is probably just, something sorry, can i just jump in there of course well, I, mean, sorry. I, I would say that is what separates bender from people like me and ilmac and thesaurus and like fresco and like other people that are like sort of revered mainly for their writing ability with us, I would say yes, you do. You do need to have be attentive and consciously appreciate what you're doing. With Bender, I don't think you did. Mm. I think he was so good at it that people even that didn't know what was going on could just appreciate it like sonically, like how it sounded. Do you know what I mean? It was almost sure. like, like I say, I, that's what I, I compare him to. It's almost like a jazz drummer, right? Mm. Like, if you are a drummer, which, so in this analogy, that would be like, I guess, me, Ilmac, Thesaurus, people of that ilk. Um, and you're watching like a jazz drummer. You're just like, the technique and ability to perform that is just insane. Mm. If you're not a jazz drummer, if you're not a drummer at all, like me, and you're listening to a jazz drummer, you're just like, that sounds incredible. And I think that's that's maybe like the heart of my point, at, like why what made Bender so different than the rest of us.